What's up, everyone? All right, so I guess we're doing a AMA today. So how skills gear and is biking my main or am I interested in other characters? I would say that I'm kind of interested in other characters. Uh, the main reason I play biking is because, um, you know, she's new, she's cool. She has one arm, badass old lady. And I honestly just played mostly to play with my girlfriend because she mains that game and I kind of switch around. So I played Kai, I played Amelia. I'm interested in like Raven, Gem, and uh, I guess I'll say those for now. What are my thoughts on the memory card hack so far? Um, I'll probably have a video up on this just like testing it out. It's not like I've actually, you know, like have a fully formed opinion on it. But I would say that the main thing is that the dashback... Maybe the dashback out of crouch and the um, shield drop ones. Those two are good. I, I actually like memory card hacks as long as they're done minimally. But I know not everyone is like that. Other than that, I think that the f the angle notches are really badly implemented. Uh, I went over this a lot in the stream earlier today. I think dashback dashbacking out of crouch might not be needed. What else? I guess. That's kind of my opinion so far. I, th I think it could be good, but we need to, as a community, come together to set a standard before anything like keeps going. On the subject of memory card mods to decrease variance, do you think increasing the consistency of tech is buffing Fox as he is somewhat balanced by a human variable? I don't think Fox is any has been proven to be like the best character or anything. Uh, you could argue that he is buffed by it, but honestly, um, People like Armada, for example, think that Peach gets more nerfed by the back dash because you have more time as Fox anyway. I'm not sure if I agree with that, since Peach doesn't dash as much as Fox does. But it's kind of specific. In some matchups, like, I guess when you're reacting texturizing, some people need a back dash. The thing is that, like, um, it honestly just depends. Like, there are setups to do it, but I don't really think it buffs Fox, like, even significantly at all. It mostly just removes inconsistency. But yeah, I guess you could see it. I, I do think, however, that Firefox notches uh, buff certain characters way more. Ices are probably the most buffed character by adding digital input and uh, angle hacks, I guess. Yeah. I'm a top level player for the game I play and I want to I want to try and get a sponsor for my team. Where should I start? I mean, I see your name here. It has TV in it. So I, may, I, w I would say that branding yourself is probably... If you already are a top player, then branding yourself, getting out there, placing good is not all that it takes. You can see this for Smash, for example, we have Wistrobe and Drug Fox, who are like really good players, but don't have the best. Well, I guess Drug Fox got picked up, but it's by Balance, which so far hasn't really picked up anyone else. It's more of a sponsor where like, he might get paid well, but the sponsor itself is not the biggest thing, you know, like it's more, they pay him to give the sponsor exposure so it, it really depends like figure out what kind of position you are in uh i would say talk to other people if you need to to how did they get it you know the other people are essentially your co-workers in the scene so don't be afraid to like uh yeah just go up ask for help and yeah i i honestly think having a good brand so like who are you why are you special from everyone else so it makes you stand out a little bit and then creating content because uh sponsors generally most sponsors generally like that type of thing a lot and although placing high is always good uh if you can't really convert placing well into people being interested in you it's hard to get a sponsor okay windy j23 asked why did you change your twitter avi from bakugo to Todoroki? i like both of them I, th I showed this on stream before but i'm getting a a custom controller with Todoroki on it it's gonna be dope i honestly like both characters i'm probably a little bit more like Bakugo, but um, Todoroki is also the best boy. Schneidog, some players have good secondaries, some have crappy secondaries. What do you think about approach to the game determines this? That's really hard to say. I would say, it's like, it, it really comes down to some characters being more unique. Like, if you look at players, like people who play extensively very floaty characters or very unique characters, like Luigi and Isis and Yoshi, for example, when you come to unique characters, and then Peach Puff for really floaty characters, and sometimes even Ganon in a way. Ganon and Dwarf mains generally have, don't have great foxes and so on. It's definitely mostly about the fact that the skills you to play Jigglypuff at a high level generally don't transfer over, and then, you know, you 
you can essentially i don't i don't mean this in a bad way but you can know less about the game as a whole while still doing well with some of those characters the more unique ones because you know you don't need to dash dance really with jigglypuff you don't need to have sick you know tech skill with ICs other than the you know like the basics and the desyncs and sometimes you just spend more time focusing on doing that you know fo focusing on float spacings with peach or rest setups with jigs instead of like tech skill you know how to recover and stuff like that that transfer over to everyone else so i, w I would say that that is mostly what determines it most spacey players for example have pretty good secondaries and you know like marth cheek mains generally are pretty good at one once as well. I'm going to Valhalla and Denmark Liddy this year. Very likely, very likely. I haven't, I mean, it's so far. It's so far. It's in December, but I can't imagine why I wouldn't unless it's just a terrible time. Will you still be a rebel athlete? Blah, blah, blah. That's honestly, guys, that is not an official source or anything. Please know that Daily Dot, or was it whoever it was, Jacob Wolf, generally is just crazy speculations. I am fine. I will say that. I will let you guys know if I was actually not fine. Road, road to Freddy Lumber, are you a wholesome person? At times, at times. I wish I was always a wholesome person. What is your favorite victory or, what, or who do you enjoy beating the most? Enjoy beating the most, whoever makes it to grand finals. Winning at grand finals means so much more than winning anywhere else. Sometimes, you know, being someone with a grudge or stuff like that also is great, but greatest victory. I think it's like beast. Gommel and CEO are all really great ones and I don't really I don't try to dwell on the past Maybe I'll do that after I've retired, but For me, it's more like I still drop games in all of those tournaments You know, I, I still got all even those wins have some flaws to them could always have prepared better and I try not to dwell I try to dwell on my losses, but not on my victories because <laughs> you know You're only happy after a win for so long and then you need it need the next hit. Will I be playing mutes at Evo? No. <laughs> when you fox ledge dash, do you use it weight or like, or down until I go over the edge? Um, also, would you consider making a video tutorial on how you ledge dash with input display and some explanation? Maybe uh, on the tutorial, I use away. I think away is strictly better because although if you try to do the perfect ledge dash, you're actually more likely to SD when you press away. You should almost, I don't think you should ever really go for the perfect ledge dash. You only gain like one, two, three more invincibility frames, but you know it doesn't work. For example, if you um, if you haven't stalled yet, if you like ledged wave dash to the edge instead of a B stall, then you you will SD if you do the perfect one, the fastest possible one. Pressing away gives you a way bigger window when you're doing the practical one. Maybe I'll go more specifically into it, but pressing away is way better in my opinion. What do I think about the up and cover player Echo C Jarek? Great player, dude. Great player. SC Red SSB. In your opinion, what's wrong with PM? Um, I mean, that's a lot of flaws. The the thing I always said was that when when the game was designed, it was like basically because the game had no overarching like you need to balance this character. No, that character is too broken. This is how you balance a character. It didn't have any like over, anyone looking down on every other character. It be, essentially became like oh, I want to make Snake with tons of new animations and. You know, like Snake had a fine forward smash, but they gave him a new one because they, he, he got a new down tilt. He got like, Snake got so many new things. He even got a new up tilt and some other characters were just completely the same, but they were e even more broken. So like essentially what happened is that the game didn't have any consistent design approach. And so some characters were just ridiculously broken because they, this developer, this one developer was really stupid. And it felt like, this is from what I've heard. Obviously this might've changed it, from time to time but it really felt like oh if this guy wanted Roy to be broken then Roy was broken but no the Roy the Roy designer was fine but the Mewtwo designer was on some kind of drugs and you know like the pet designer oh my god he was he was rolling dude it was intense so and then I mean my problem with PM specifically for me is like why would I play this game when I have melee it is a worse game in almost every aspect for me the only thing is that it has more characters, but most of those characters are so badly designed that I don't care for them. What players do you really like to see lose? I mean, what is it called? Schadenfreude? Like, uh, seeing enjoyment of, of other people messing up? I mean, for me it's just like, when they deserve it, you know? When people get too up on a high horse, you know, like, oh yeah, you know, 
they can't lose or maybe when they talk a lot of trash maybe when they just haven't lost in a long time maybe it's the upset but generally i just like watching good melee more than anything else and people who play bad melee those people like to see lose m karma hey leffen since there's such a big gap between the top few europeans and the rest of what do you think the other Euro players should do to close the gap. Get net play, stop being lazy, practice, ask me and a model for tips. You have us, no one uses us. Stop being lazy, work harder. There's a lot of things they can do and almost no one but me and Armada does it. There are some uh, up and comers though, but we'll see if they can uh, take the next steps, so to speak. Favorite Miyazaki movie, House Movie Castle or Spirited Away, I'm not sure. I honestly need to watch more Miyazaki movies. I haven't seen uh, Princess Mononoke or uh, any of the newer ones. Is there any player except for yourself you would happy, be happy to see you win EVO? I mean, if I didn't go, I don't want to even think about that, but if I didn't go, I want to see PPMD one. Ultimate Max, if we're going to try to make a standard memory card mod, what other changes would you like to see? P Frozen Pokemon Stadium? Frozen Pokemon Stadium, no. Input display? Uh, input display, useless for a tournament. Where should we draw the line on adding things? Minimal. Th things that make, I, th I feel like the memory cards should generally be to make things more consistent rather than make the change to them either way. Fix things, It's it should be bug fixes, not balance changes. Do you consider it a Mineto melee? <laughs> I'm not that big of a perv. Chipsy, what do you think about initial? Um, I mean, I wouldn't really say think, but it, you, you watch out for what moves your opponent's gonna do. Try to predict what they're gonna do and then try to outsmart them, move in a position where either those moves don't work or if they do work, then they're maybe predictable or they have an answer and then I try to put out that answer. What do you think are the differences in culture between US and Europe and other regions if you have knowledge of it? I'm especially thinking of fan culture. Uh, fan culture is kind of different. Uh, in Europe, I almost never get asked for selfies and stuff like that. I mean, it happens, but like I would say that it happens less than 10% of the time it does in the US, even at similarly large tournaments. I, you know, I'm a European in many ways. I'm pretty European, like my beliefs and just lifestyle in general. So yeah, I kind of enjoy the the more chill where you can just be a normal person but i also realized that you know it's always good to have some fans and you definitely do meet some really cool people that come up to you i just wish some of them were better at picking their times and i also think that just in general smashers and tos need to like put out you know time slots for amas and stuff like that that's something definitely something i'm, I'm gonna start trying to do where you know friday I'll, i like i'll pick this setup and like if you want to come and play take a picture say hello I'm here, we can play some games, play best of three or something. If no one else is gonna, you know, set it up, I'll do it for me. Aram1. Hey Leffen, how do you look at Smash since becoming a pro player? Does it at some point start feeling like more of a job? Sure. Or is it still the same fun, enjoyable game for when you started playing got better? Do you think you'd put in the same effort and time into becoming the best if you weren't sponsored? I don't know how I would act if I wasn't sponsored, but I would say that I would still put a lot of effort into it, but I, maybe I just wouldn't have the, you know, like the energy to, you know, like always give it my best when I did put in the, the time. I did play a lot even when I was um, working at the same time, but now I just have more, you know, like time to think about the game, to chill, to actually have a life outside the game. Before tournaments though, I just, it is, you know, it is a job. It is, it's not easy playing 14 hours a day or 12 hours or 10 hours or, you know, like whatever you do, it's not like, you know, a regular job where you go in and you like, all right, I'm gonna sit at this desk and I'm gonna tap, tap, tap for eight hours. And I'm gonna look at the phone every four, like 40 minutes and I'm gonna take a break. It's more about, you know, like you go in and you try your absolute best to not only win every game, but also to learn as much as possible. Well, not even win every game, but to, you know, like focus really hard, think, would this happen in tournament? Am I playing against a good player? Am I playing against a bad player? And you try to focus, could, what could I have done better? You go in and you give it like, you give it truly your all in the hours you do, which is not really something that that's easy to do if you're not motivated. Um, so it's very important, I think, to always, you know, like keep that burning desire motivation to win and always look at the end goal, right? Like why am I practicing against a Fox for 10 hours straight? You know, yeah, I can already force out this guy, but Armada, I can't beat him consistently yet. That's what I need to practice for. So it, it requires kind of different motivation, but yes, I do still think it's a lot of fun for sure. I also think it's a job. Think of it as a job, you know. It, I, 
sometimes I want to do something else, but I still have to choose Smash over it. But that doesn't mean that when I choose Smash over it, I don't enjoy that too. But maybe I wanted to, you know, maybe I'm tired. Maybe I don't want to go up and start playing at 10. Maybe I would rather wait until 3 and then start. Because it's my job, I have to start early. I have to, you know, do the boring stuff as well. Pixodelix. How do gaming teams get money? Where do they get the money to pay top players? I mean, this is unique for every team, but but essentially, it's just like a sports team, you know? Sports teams get a, get more, though, from uh, ticket sales and stuff like that, but the general idea is you kind of, you know, like, sponsors, how most people see them, are like, you know, TSM. TSM is not a sponsor. They're a team, right? They have sponsors. So they have Logitech, Red Bull, HTC, and so on, and these companies pay to make deals to make ad advertisements and content and so on with tsm players and tsm and those companies you know like rebel hsc logitech and so on they want advertisement right and the good thing about advertising to a gamer audience is that people really you know it's some it's pretty close to the actual audience you know like a gamer usually looks at a stream and if their favorite stream is using a mouse then yeah you know you can ask the streamer, hey, what do you think about the Logitech? And I'm like, yeah, it's probably the best mouse I've ever used. You should, you should try it out. And that's kind of how, you know, like the general advertising works. Then there's a lot of specifics, but it's really, it's really complicated for some people. Some, you know, some sponsors, you know, some people never do any content with their sponsors. Some people are just there as a name. Some people bring, you know, are, are professional streamers under a brand. So it really depends. And from, from every team and for every uh, player under that team. Do you like speedruns and want to watch SGDQ? I hear that Mario 2D Mario Relay. Uh, Jenny watches a lot of SGDQ. She has it on like when she works and stuff like that. I watch it sometimes. I wouldn't really say I'm a huge speedrunner fan anymore. But back in the day when uh, Cosmo and Narcissa and Siglemic used to stream, I used to watch those a lot. Uh, I have them on in the background when I played. Watch some of uh, Punkation and She's play Mario, six Mario 64 recently. Some good speedrun attempts. Honestly, though, I'm not like a huge speedrun overall fan. I like some games, though. I think a lot of um, melee players like Mario 64. <laughs> Where are you laughing? Uh, I'm here. Hitch slap. What is Hungerbox like in real life? I mean, I feel like Hbox is like how you expect him to be, like on stream and stuff like that in real life. I, I feel like it's, if anything, he's like, he acts a little bit differently when he's like alone or like outside of the scene and not with that many people in the scene but i mean he's not too bad you know he's not too bad it's a, it's a cool guy i know some people have their opinions on him but i think uh i think h is a nice guy i mean you know like i'm not gonna say he's my best friend or anything but i certainly don't have anything against him that way when did you start getting into anime i watched like the oh shit <laughs> i watched um some anime back in the day like a long time ago and then i started getting then in like 2011, 12, 13, 14 something, I don't remember when I started, then I got back into it. I previously just watched, you know, like Naruto, some of Bleach, Death Note, like, you know, like the standards. And then I got into the more deeper ones and watched Evangelion, Science Gate, uh, Shinsuke Yori, like the more heavy hitters, the classics, the shorter ones. And you just burned through like a lot of them in, uh, you know, in like, one or two years then i kind of stopped i kind of got bored of anime now i'm kind of in it into it again i don't watch that much though but i really like what i do watch it kind of goes in phases for me sometimes you just get really bored of the tropes and sometimes you're like fucking gum butter yo let's go what motivates you to the most to travel to international tournaments prize money number of top players i mean most of the time when i play a tournament and i like lose or win it doesn't hit me until after the tournament, like many hours later, that I actually won anything. So certainly not the prize money in that way, but pr you know, big prize money does attract high level competition. So they're still related. And if a tournament has a lot of prize money in it, then I will more likely go, even if no one signed up, because I know that people will sign up if I do. But generally, I just like traveling to cool places, nice venues, nice schedules. Um, and pe you know, like a lot of freaking good competition. There's very few feelings as good as competing with everything you got against someone that can match you at every step. Another question, M Karma. I often hear people 
say they play differently on netplay and that netplay doesn't give you experience that you need for tournaments do you agree with this and if if so how do you think someone could change the netplay attitude methods to, to better carry out tournaments i only think this really matters if you play with a lot of lag which i never do in netplay so no i i i really don't think that this is honestly true if anything it's the people that you play against on netplay if i play prof on netplay or in on casuals you know, I, I we play the same, pretty much. Even if we do have some lag, we generally don't try to play to it. Maybe it could be different if there's some tactics. You know, like you don't react to tech chase because you because of a little bit of lag. Then you should rather still go for what you would offline. Play like you would offline, but honestly, I think that difference is very very overrated. And if there's anything big, then it won't be that hard. To transfer over from that play and yeah i guess you know start playing some offline right before tournament have you ever listened to caro caro bonito i'm pretty sure you like them caro caro bonito this is some weeb shit oh shit it's the gif it's a particular reason why wave shining isn't used often it's just useful against characters like peach you can s so the the reason why is because um the reason why is essentially mostly because when you um wave shine someone it doesn't do that much damage it only does like four percent it's hard to execute, and if they smash DI, then you can drop the combo entirely. So extended wave shines are usually some... Well, it depends, but sometimes they aren't worth it. I would say what's more to it is just that it's really hard to get a clean wave shine. You, when you do the shine, you have to know that it's going to hit already to do the wave dash. Otherwise, you will get punished if you you know, wave shine on their shield or something. Or wave shine them in the air, even. So it really just depends. If you can... Landing good wave chance is definitely a skill, but it is a combo that I think it's worth exploring more, both for people getting combo by it and the fox using the combo. AMA Dream Hack discussion. I mean, I already talked about this. I didn't practice much for Dream Hack, but I'm happy that uh, my mindset was good. The reason why I didn't practice was partly due to laziness, which I hate, but mostly because uh, me and Jenny kind of fucked up when booking her vacation days, so the only time she had vacation was the week before Dream Hack, and the week before that, so I didn't I just chill with her and practice sorry i would practice more for evo i actually am sorry sorry i'm sorry to myself why poor me poor me okay oh do, 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 do. chocolate or caramel chocolate favorite player from tsm other than yourself tie between like everyone i don't know it's hard to pick favorites i don't want to make anyone sad per se why is music coming out against sam is <laughs> i hate that matchup it's so slow. I played it against Dady though. PVMD said in his interview with Hapkins recently that he believes he will still be in top 15 form by the time he returns. I think he will live up to that. I think he... That depends on how long he takes before he returns. I certainly think that top 15 at the moment in Smash is not really that hard to reach. Uh, if you actually look at the people that are arguably 15, then I don't think any of them... Most of them, like the border top 15 have particularly impressive resumes this year. And PBMB is still really amazing. Even if he didn't get top 15 by the start of it, I think he could very quickly um, reach top 15 level. It, it's the top six or top seven, top 10, that's really hard to get to, in my opinion. Goblin this year? Yes. I will be going to Goblin. Talked about it. If the game that's not that's being made by Wii Wave Dash is really good or even comparatively we pick it up competitively. Problem is that, just like with the other game, pro the other project, Rivals of Either, Brawlhalla, and so on, the problem with those are that if they're so similar, why would I not just play Melee? I do, however, think that if Wave Dash game is different enough, and if it, you know, like, I could play it on the side maybe, but I would, you know, like, Melee is still always going to be my main game unless the game is just like drastically better than Melee. Have you played Tekken 7 at all? I tried playing it. It was cool for the 5 seconds until the keyboard control stopped working and I had to reset. And then I had to do that 10 times and then I gave up. So I essentially spent like $60, $70 on a game I can't play with my keyboard. So I'll use a, I'll use a stick for it when I do it, but... I don't know, I don't have that much time. Maybe I'll stream it sometime this week or next week. How can you get better at any Smash game if you don't have the option to play people all the time and can really only play in weekly twice a week? Weekly twice a week? Let me tell you, son. For the majority of my Smash career, like, well, until the, fa the time where I was already a top 10 player, 
I could not play them more than twice a week. I played a lot at home. Try to get net play, I would say. Analyze your matches, analyze other people's matches. Uh, try to get people over to you, you know, like, remember that, like, getting good at Smash is a journey, and do what you can now with the weeklies. Maybe you focus more now on uh, tech skill, getting a lot of good mechanics, learning a lot about the game, so that if you ever go to get to a position, you know, like, in, in a year or two, move out, you go to college, and you find people to play, then you've done all the groundwork, so now you can just go in and play people every single day and get freaking amazing. And all those, you know, like, time spent in the lab, they're not wasted. Will you end your Guilty Gear at EVO? No. I have to focus on Smash. It's mostly a game I play with my girlfriend. I do think it's a lot of fun though. Would recommend. I know you expanded out to other fighting games recently. Ever think about playing Guilty Gear or something like that at high level? Just to answer that. I, I played more fighting games before actually. I was top two at Marvel in Sweden. I was okay at KOF, Street Fighter. Marvel was the only one I played for any kind of series. Hentai God 69 with the hard hitting questions. A million times a day. Oh. Whoa. Um, how do you get past? I, I'll just answer the general. How do you? How do you stay motivated? Uh, it's different for um everyone. You get a. It's a journey for yourself, like getting good at anything. Whether it's like weight loss, learning a new language, going to school, you know, climbing up the corporate ladder at your job, you know, flipping burgers at McDonald's, like whatever you want to improve at. You gotta put in the work and there will be times when the work is not fun. The question is, is the reward worth the times when it's not fun? I would say that if you want to be truly world level at anything, you both need to be have a love for whatever you want to be at a top level at. And you also need to be able to push through and practice and do the work when you don't feel that motivation. Discipline is really, really important. I will say though that it's completely fine if you don't want to be the absolute best at something. It's something that very few people, in my opinion, can really handle. A lot of people like to think that they want to be the best, but they, so they go at it from like an all or nothing. They burn and crash because they don't handle, you know, like they don't, they take such an extreme approach. They're like I will never eat any sugar any time ever or stuff like that. And then, they don't for two weeks and then they crash and then they go back and get super fat. Sometimes it's about scaling up and sometimes it's about just being real with yourself and you know, what tri what gets you going? How do you function? What motivates you? Ice Bello. No, no worries, dude. Thank you for your donations oh, as always. Ophers, are you ever going to do a hair tutorial? I'm getting a vlogging camera in one week when I go to LA, so. We'll see, we'll see. When did J23, do you, have you read Boku no Hero manga? I have read the manga. I think it gets way better than uh, the anime is right now. I will say if you're an anime only follower, season three, whenever that comes out, is going to be amazing. Season three and season, what will be season four? Definitely the better than what, than season one, season two. We'll do a new vid on the Hacks memory card, fast and middle update. I, yeah, kind of. Not like a, here's my thoughts, it's more like, I am trying these things out and kind of my like opinion as I go along. What do you think about the new platform fighters? Blah, blah, blah. I already talked about this. Uh, Rivals of Either is the best out of the one, these three. Rivals of Either, Brawlhalla, and Brawl Up. You seem to be really harsh on yourself at tournaments. You kind of criticize yourself for losing game in pools and you, when you win a tournament. Do you think this mindset helps or hurts you? Being a perfectionist has its ups and downs, but I think it helps me in the long run. If you weren't a professional fighting game player, are the are there other careers you would like to pursue? Uh, snowboarding down a hill in the middle of San Francisco in the middle of summer, being chased after a big truck. Um, I don't know. I can see myself doing a lot of different things as long as it's something I enjoy. For me, it's always going to be that like I would rather be piss poor but like what I do than rich and hate what I do. Have you seen JoJo's? I've seen like a few episodes. Uh, it's, it was too uh, bizarre for me, haha, <laughs> I get it, but I don't know, we'll see, you know, maybe I'll give it another go. I heard season, the first part is not the best part. Already answer this, fake news, son. I'm definitely not missing you. What is your favorite game besides Smash? Have to give a shout out to WoW back in the day, I played that a lot. I have to give a shout out to Marvel with Captain 3. But if you're talking about single player games, Shadow of the Colossus, Wind Waker, Mirror's Edge. Was still a Breath of the Wild is fucking amazing. There, there's so many good games. Hi, uh, Lol Red Lord. 
Hi Lufin, just wanted to ask your thoughts on the best way to improve Play Smash. I live in a very isolated town in the USA where barely anyone plays Smash and there aren't any events for Smash occurring nearby. Get started with Netplay and all. Um, Netplay, I would say look for people, ask your face if there's a Facebook group for the South and stuff like that. Other people that live close to you, maybe you look around at your college or stuff like that. It, it really comes down to each area, but I would say that, as I said before, where you live might not be permanent. Try to put in the work uh, that you can do, tech skill, watching videos, stuff like that. And then when you do get the chance, uh, make the most out of it. Maybe I'll do a video on how to improve by yourself. Comment man, what do you expect in PMD when he returns in terms of performance? Not much for the in the beginning. We'll see how he can improve though. You have to realize though that I hate to say this, but he, just because PP comes back to a tournament does not mean he will from that tournament keep going to another tournament, another tournament like every single weekend. He might go to one tournament and then decide I can't do this and then not come back for two years. Maybe he won't come back at all. So we'll see really. Umbite. In which way has your mentality in tournament changed from before and after your visa break? Um, not too much. I would say it's it goes up and down. I would say I haven't uh, changed my mentality drastically. Kind of finding myself more and more after losing myself for a little bit. I know you're amazing to keep on melee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What was your reaction to end of Evangelion? What a fucking amazing show. That's what I thought. What's your opinion, Full Metal Alchemist? I've watched like 20 episodes of Brotherhood. I think it's pretty good, but. I've only watched like 20 episodes of Brotherhood and that was a long time ago. I don't really remember too much. I'll definitely watch it sometime. When you start learning English at a very early age from playing Mar Pokemon and stuff like that. And yes, you do learn in like second grade in school. What's your favorite country slash place you went to because of tournament? Oh, there's so many. I like Seattle. I like... Melbourne in Australia. I like I've been to the Canary Island for a tournament. I've been to a lot of places. I like a lot of places I like LA for what it is. I'm not sure if LA is that good or the people around there Just chill. We could play me at Evo. <laughs> Evo Evo barely has any casuals. Is it true that Music King stinks sometimes? Above average for sure, but sometimes he smells fine. Sometimes he stinks. Falco and Fox Which character would be your main? Marth. Who do you play Marvel? Dante, Zero, and X-23, or Dante, Zero, Dante, Zero, X-23, or Dante, Virgil Strider. Have you considered picking up a coach or seeing a sports psychologist to develop your mental game further? Yes, more on that in the future. Have you ever played a musical instrument? Mm, not really. I do like piano though. Uh, me and Jenny are probably gonna buy one. We're gonna, you know, like, buy a big mansion. Yes. Hello. And sit and play piano. Have you ever played a Metro game? I played some of Metro Prime when I was younger. I thought it was too scary when I was that age. It was too creepy, rather. I didn't really like it. I haven't gone back to it since. Well, I get Prime 4. If it looks good, all we see now is a 4. A JPEG. Do you take away things from anime that help you in Smash? Sometimes, yeah. You can learn a lot from sports anime. You can learn a lot. Ping pong the animation. Thank you. I ever play Skullgirls? Nope. Is Breath of the Wild your favorite solo game? Right now it is, but I'll have to look back at it in 10 years and see how it ages. It is a really fucking amazing game though. I haven't even finished it though. Dragon Ball Z Fighters is being made in the same team as Gold Gear. Do you think about checking out when it comes out? Yes. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, even though I haven't uh, read all or watched all out, all of Dragon Ball Z, I only I lost interest when it turned to Z instead of just regular Dragon Ball. But yeah, that game looks amazing. Who is your favorite melee player other than yourself? I mean, I don't like watching bad players, uh, so a bad player could never be my favorite. And all the other good players, I don't want to see as a favorite because uh, then I'd feel bad when I destroy them. Also, who do you think is the best melee player other than yourself, Armada? Who do you? What do you do specifically for your own hand health? My left hand gets painful after playing melee for 20 minutes, so I have to play in short sense. Please fix. Stretch. Mind your hand health when you're doing other things with your hand, like. Looking at your phone, uh, mind your posture when you're at your computer, especially I would say. Uh, stretch, uh, look up videos on like how to do wrist strengthening and stuff like that. Keep in mind that you can't have too uh, tight of a grip and take breaks. Sir, as hi Luffin, how can I prove the way I think about the game? I've been stuck on the same level for quite some time now. I think it's because the way I view the game is retarded. Um, generally when you plateau, it's either not changing what you're doing, 
like you get stuck and you just do the same thing over and over where you you're not measuring your progress properly and obviously you don't you don't practice the right things but a lot of the time you're actually improving but you're not just improving in the right at the right things that's the problem so essentially what happens is that you practice fucking multi shining and you're getting better you you're not beating anyone else though or maybe you're losing more because you're staying the same maybe you're losing you know like more valuable skills um so it's really about you know like measuring what do, what do i think matters to win um then knowing how to measure that in a way that's not just did i win at this local or did i lose at this local this is one of the reasons why even if i win in pools if i just barely win in pools against people i should destroy then for me that's that could still be a bad game that you know like it can show that i'm not improving improving or playing properly so i would say that find good ways to measure success and improvement and progress review the way you practice and set up clear and achievable goals what do you enter pm no blue guard when you're thinking to yourself what language do you think in uh depends sometimes i make sometimes we sometimes english now it doesn't really depend on where i live since i speak a lot of english even when i'm at home as right now favorite anime evangelion probably is it right now uh favorite current watching anime not sure maybe book in a hero because that's pretty good current current airing one this season is with definitely book in a hero i don't even watch any other one i watched a bit of kado i'll probably finish that how do you start thinking melee put a lot of effort into thinking and not autopiloting it is hard we enter evil with me too no also can you kickflip no sorry you feel a greater sense of pressure going into gamble 2017 no well a little bit but i like pressure but not too much honestly how many controls do you go through until you find a perfect one um not that many who owns more sweaters you or jenny i own a lot more clothes okay i think this is the last question i'll answer because i've been going at it for a while now what are my thoughts on rivals of either have you put any time in play a little bit i think it's the best of the melee clones so to speak it still has the flaws of being just a fighting game and doesn't have you know like a story mode that's proper any trials any challenges any other content the online mode could probably use some work but i think it's okay definitely the best melee clone i would say i i'm not a huge fan of the pixel pixel art style though do you think ken will ever return has any ever returned most satisfying fox technique to pull off i don't know man changes all the time i will say chasing after your opponent reading them perfectly and then shine spiking them when it's against a good player has a certain special feeling sometimes favorite meme right now wholesome wholesome memes are fun how much do you think the average melee player in your twitch chat can understand your decision making and the way you play melee i feel like the average person in my chat doesn't even play melee more than once a year so not very well i don't know it, it is kind of a shame i don't think that that many people truly understand when i do something great unless it's also flashy we have considered the use of secondaries in tournament yes but i don't really see any reason right now it would mostly be to counter stages rather than matchups mother enza can you say hi to my son paul he's struggling right now i would greatly appreciate it oh dude kids and their parents that's such a wholesome question gambate paul but do your best dude do your best and we're spam bible thumb hey i come from Alt ultimate marvelous three capcom background and was there anything you took away from marvel that got transferred to smash sometimes you just gotta swing back like sometimes you get comboed for a whole stock and you just gotta all right it's my turn baby it's my turn baby let's go and you have to sometimes you just have to be really be a real scumbag and you just go for some cheap mix up and just grab a free stock and uh yeah you just gotta be a scumbag sometimes and also I, I think i learned some fundamentals and what, what what's really important to focus on when playing marvel that's kind of extract though what's the difference between jelly and jam i have jelly is more gooey i don't know i don't know jam is made out of berries or fruit i don't know i don't know it's a way to get out of the autopilot mode specifically i'm such a bad player melee so it's here to death someone and barely be focusing on the game at the same time. 
Well, if you can do that, then you're not that bad of a player, son. Sometimes you need to realize that thinking is easier. Thinking will come at a cost of performance. So sometimes you just need to like, okay, I'm just gonna move really, really slowly and think through what I do. And then you can speed it up and kind of turn off your brain and only focus on the main couple of things. Sometimes thinking will be like, he's at low percent and then your body will naturally go for a grab instead of a nair that could be crowd canceled. I would say that try to keep thinking about it, put conscious effort to it, take breaks so that you don't zone out and go into autopilot mode. Grocery man, is there ever a chance to play you in friendlies? If so, when? Also, are you attending SmashCon this year? On the early day of tournaments, I'm going to start trying to do like a meet and greet, kind of a, you know, like, yeah, like a meet and greet. Like you can play me and you can take a picture and have me sign your Pokedex, clip me for your Pokedex, whatever you call it. That's what I'm I'm gonna try to do. Look at, look at my Twitter. Generally though, it's pretty hard to do it in nationals. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of people that want to play me and you would essentially have to stalk me in order to know when I am free. And please do not stalk me. Will I win EVO? Yes. All right, boys. That's it. That is it.